Hey guys, this is Hover, and today I am here with another highly requested video. Honestly, I have so many videos in line, but guys, I am so sick of <laughs> transcribing and translating all the words from Korean into English or vice versa. So I just decided to just make a quick video in both Korean and English and just edit the hell out of it and just get it over and done with because I'm just so sick of looking at Microsoft Word. So I'm going to start with my eye makeup brushes because I seem to have a lot of different makeup brushes. So I'm just going to split my brushes video in half and today I'm going to show you all my smaller brushes which are basically my eye brushes so I'm going to start with the most highly asked about brushes which are my blending brushes and I have here my Sigma blending brushes which these were just basically just gifts from my purchase I bought a whole bunch about twice and then they sent me these for free and they are just simple blending brushes in E25 so they are flat like this but at the end they're just really fluffy so I don't think that matters so basically I just use them to blend out my eyeshadows and also to do a little bit of precision contouring like my nose etc and then there's a blending brush that I actually purchased which is the Sigma tapered blending which is E35 and this is actually my favorite blending brush that's why it's actually not washed because I've actually been using it as you can see it's not flat at the end of the metal tip and it's actually round and basically tapered and I wish I could purchase another one what happens with me is that when there is a brush that I like I buy at least two of them so that, you know, when one is washed, I still have a spare that I can use. And then my next blending brush is actually something that I bought from Korea. This is the Sam's blending brush. I don't know if it had any number or specific name. The writing's all worn out and I bought this like five years ago or four. I don't know when the Sam actually had just started that's when I bought it this is actually slightly denser than my other Sigma blending brushes I really really like it for the nose contouring as well when I need a wash of color or you know just base eye base shadow then this is what I go for love it as well maybe I want to get a spare one I don't know but it's been good uh, with me for the past few years and then here's also another one that I pretty much like this is a thick dense brush it's called a large fluff brush in E50 by Sigma and I love it when I need to just pack my shadow on as you know as a base you know on a large area it's really useful but since I don't wear a lot of eyeshadows it doesn't feature in my routine as often as usual but I really do like it, uh, yeah, for just base shadow. And here's my next fluffy shadow. This is called the Sigma Medium Angled Shading in E70. And this basically is really fluffy and it's angled. So it's nice for when I need to give it, you know, really like blurred out kind of look. But when I also need to give it a little bit of shape, then, you know, the angled surface give it a nice shape kind of it can pack a little too much color so I don't use it for contouring my nose etc so it doesn't feature that often in my makeup routine but I do really like it most of the time I like it because it feels so nice and fluffy on my skin <laughs> and then I have this brush which is the Urban Decay shadow brush what I like about this is that it's really thin at the end so sometimes when I need my eyeshadow to double up as an eyeliner I just go and then you know I can line a nice line but also I can use it as a concealer brush because it's a nice synthetic fiber brush that's also flat so yeah I've also used it in my clown contouring because I use it as a concealer brush this is also my other concealer brush these two are basically like really similar it's just this one is a bit bigger this is the Chong Moon Mew eye brightener brush um, that I got like such a long time ago when Chong Moon used to sell Mew and yeah this is a decent brush nothing special and then this is a double-ended 
eyeshadow brush that was i don't know where this is from i think this is an urban decay brush though i must have gotten it when i was getting some palette from urban decay which has a flat shader brush at the end and a fluffy shadow brush on the other and this is the bobbi brown eyeshadow brush which is just a normal eyeshadow brush nothing special about it in the middle of fluffy and dense and yeah i just use it whenever i feel like it probably in the crease area because it's not large enough uh, for me to use as a base shadow uh, Kori, Toriga, 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 Toriga. Next is also a concealer brush by Miu. This is a nice precision concealer brush that's also flat. I would recommend this on, you know, the spot areas rather than the under eye areas because under eye areas tend to be a, li a little bit larger. So yeah, that's a concealer brush. And this is another concealer brush. This is from Tony Molly. You guys might have guessed that I have like tons of concealer brushes. That's because I like to use these flat brushes as lip makeup brush because I don't like the normal lip makeup brushes that are, you know, like tapered and they are not that flat. I, I don't know, my lips are a bit thick, so I like to use a brush that covers a larger surface area obviously these synthetic brushes this is what's happening right now with me but um, obviously these synthetic hair bristles are great for cream formula which is what lipsticks tend to be so here's another one but this one is a detailed brush from the real techniques uh, I think this is from the Core collection. I double up every brush that I can, so it doesn't always work as a detail concealer brush. I would use it as a lip brush sometimes. Sometimes I would even use eyeshadows with this if I have to, but this, yeah, whatever. And then this is a dual end eyeshadow brush from Espa. This used to have a sponge tip applicator at the end, but the sponge tip was so hard i just took it out because it just seemed to hurt my eyelids instead of applying makeup and then at the end is a tiny bulletproof crease brush i use it sometimes just for like you know um detailed shadow application yeah next is also another bullet point brush crease brush <laughs> And this is from the Chanel's Holiday Mini Brush Kit from way back. It's really soft though. It's like a crease brush, nothing I can say much about it. And this is a eyeliner brush I got from Tony Molly. I don't use it as much because I don't like using these brushes for eyeliner. I like to use flat angled brushes for eyeliner because it covers a larger area. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm a very impatient person so it's all about does it cover enough surface area and obviously this doesn't but sometimes it does come in handy when I need to, you know, flick a nice thin liner that I would use it and this is also one of the favorites of mine this is the Vanilla Co flat shader brush I'm not exactly sure what the name is called but I will give it a search and give it a name this is basically a pretty dense flat eyeshadow brush so what i like to do with this is just to go over the eyeliner with a dark eyeshadow or i would sort of put a bit of glitter at the tip just for my agusa or inner corners you know as like a thin line on the eyes and it would work beautifully and yeah this is one of my go-to eyeshadow brushes here's another crease brush this is from Amelie. This used to be one of the only crease brushes I could find in Korea when I bought it but obviously uh, nowadays you can get more of them like I think they sell at Misha as well etc. This is my Sigma Flat Definer brush which is E15. This is great for applying glitter on the inner corners when I just need that thin line or when I just need a, a slight flick up then I would just stamp it it's a great eyeliner brush as well if I need this much um, surface area but I don't think I use it as much these days. This is a super fine pointy brush. I, If I remember correctly, this is actually a art brush, not a makeup brush. I just put it in 
I've never actually used it on my face, but I plan on using this for spot concealing, you know, like point to point spot concealing. The next two on the line are actually just eyebrow brushes. Somehow I get asked about these quite more often than I would imagine. They're just normal angled eyebrow brushes that have the spoolies at the other end. This one is from the face shop and this one is from Tony Molly. I actually used to use these flat angled brushes for applying gel eyeliner because it's nice and flat and you know the bristles are pretty stiff. So I used to use them but ever since I started using eyebrow powder or the eyebrow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills then I started using these for my eyebrows as well. It's really nice because they have the spoolie at the back. I mean yeah but these two are pretty much the same. I mean like I said if there's a kind of brush that I really like I like to you know stock up on the similar brushes so these are what's happening. And that's it for my eye brushes. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at all of these. I mean, to be honest, there's nothing really special about it. But I know you guys have been really curious about them. I'm really sorry I don't include my brush information in my videos. That's because I'm just already so overwhelmed with other subtitle work and my computer, which is actually really cheap, cannot handle lots of lots of lots and lots of um layers on the subtitles so i'm really sorry but i hope this video helped um, clear out as to what kind of products i use and yeah thank you so much guys for watching and i will do a another video on my bigger face brushes so stay tuned thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye